Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, AMC stock is having a pretty good day today, which is actually kind of crazy considering the NASDAQ is down about one and a half percent. So what's going on today and what do you need to know now? It's going to get pretty volatile today. We're making this video before Jerome Powell comes on. So expect things will change. The situation will get much better or potentially much worse um, by the time Powell comes on. I will briefly share with you what I expect Powell is going to do um, here in this video. So hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about this information uh, down below in the comment section. So. Uh, first things first, again, AMC stock massively outperforming today. That is great. There's no real rhyme or reason to why uh, this is actually happening. There's no specific news that is coming out. There's nothing specific um, that is happening with AMC. AMC is just outperforming. Some of your small uh, cap stocks are outperforming. Now, the reason why I think this is you can see 10-year treasury yields are falling about 10 basis points today. This is causing TLT to rally about 1%. TLT has been rallying over the past couple of days, heading into the Fed itself. Now, what I expect from Fed Jerome Powell. Now, I'm going really out on a limb here, okay? Because it's it's statistically probably impressive probable that this will happen but based on what we have seen recently happening like the fed ending the bank term funding program new loans by march 11th what we just heard from the treasury essentially saying hey we're not gonna have to sell as many bonds as you guys thought the fact that xlf the banking sector has basically been going parabolic and even over the last couple of days has been doing very well today it's pretty much flat down about a quarter of one percent these are all reasons that i believe um this is coming next and and what this is specifically is i think jerome powell is going to push out rate cuts so the markets are currently expecting the first rate cut in may for a while there we were expecting the first rate cut in march i do not think um powell is going to confirm that for us I, I i don't think he's necessarily going to outright reject the possibility of seeing a rate cut by by even march or may but i think he's probably going to firmly push back and say yeah we're probably not going to get the first rate cut until the second half of the year i, th I expect something along those lines but i do think there's a decent chance that Powell ends quantitative tightening, or at least dramatically slows it down, which would have a positive impact on the bonds, which would send yields lower, which could be a big positive for AMC stock. Now, why would he do this, you would say? Well, a lot of people don't understand uh, quantitative easing, quantitative tightening, especially your average citizen. They're not going to have any freaking clue what, you know, uh powell is 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 doing right now powell wants to keep his credibility that's that's the thing that powell wants the most to keep that credibility if powell comes out and starts cutting rates and inflation rises again that's a problem for credibility but if powell wants to to some degree stimulate the economy stimulate uh, maybe the job market, manufacturing sector, expansion activity in the economy to get us closer to a soft landing. In other words, he can announce the end to quantitative tightening or at least slow that down in a big way, cause treasury yields to fall. Um, and, and, and that would essentially, um, have the desired effect of supporting the economy and also keeping his credibility because the news is not going to go out there or uh you know other individuals and say yeah powell started um or or he stopped selling bonds off his balance sheet that is you know a a, a bad move right the the average person is not gonna have any idea what that means the average person knows what cutting rates does right or raising rates do even though, you know, ending quantitative tightening could have a bigger impact than actually, um, you know, lowering or raising rates. Powell does not want to lose that credibility. 
at this stage, especially as things like freight have went up recently. But I do think he wants to stimulate the economy in some way or another. In 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 a weird way, though, uh, if 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 Powell were to end quantitative tightening or maybe reduce that by fifty percent or more. And, and and signal that. I'm not expecting that to actually start now. I, I'm expecting Powell's going to signal by May 20th that is going to happen. But if Powell does that and he says, hey, we're not going to cut rates potentially until Q3 of 2024, or at least until we get more clarity on inflation and what's going on with, with inflation, then you may just offset each other as far as markets, right? One a little bit on the hawkish side, one a little bit on the bullish side. Could net net not do too much for our markets, but it could drive down bonds. And on an ETF level, on a uh, you know SPY QQQ level, it might not do too much. But I do think your small and mid-cap stocks would likely react to the stimulative effect of 10-year Treasury yields, 20-year Treasury yields, 30-year Treasury yields falling. Because 30% of companies in the Russell 2000 have a majority of their debt that is on a variable rate system. So as rates have went higher, as the Fed has been doing this quantitative tightening, it is in a appropriately disproportionately affected small cap stocks that's another reason why small cap stocks are in the gutter and have been for a while it's it's i mean you have a lot of variable rate debt and rates have been going higher for a very long time so that's my personal opinion what i expect from fed jerome powell what i think is going to happen let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section now we did get some data that came out today the data that we did get today is the adp so the adp actually came in a little bit lighter than expected and of course it's uh it's not where it just was when i started this video but uh we can go ahead and pull it up on the actual calendar itself just go ahead and refresh this See the 31st, that is today. Okay, where's the ADP? Right here, ADP employment change. This is the private payroll number that uh, is not linked to the government. So the ADP employment change for January came in at positive 107,000 jobs. Now, the the estimate was 145,000 jobs. So this was a decent miss. And uh, this could, again, support kind of any easing policy, easing of policy that that Powell wants to do. This this ADP employment change is the closest thing to the government report, which ultimately uh, will be coming out on Friday. And that will be a big mover for our markets as well. Now, I do want to remind you guys, the FOMC a statement comes out it's going to look something um something like this at 2 p.m markets are going to pay attention to the specific language here and any changes to get a glimpse on you know what po what fo policy is going to look like and potentially what Powell is going to say at 2 30. nine times out of ten the first move you get at 2 p.m as long as there's no big change is the wrong one if stocks rock it up or stocks rock it down, it does not mean the day is going to be really good or really bad. You really just want to see what happens coming to 30 once they actually start the press conference. That's where you get the larger move, the greater volatility in one direction or the other, and you can see that bigger follow through. So just be a little bit careful if you do see the markets fall a lot initially, or if you see the markets rally a lot initially, because that's really not going to do anything for, uh, you know, it's as 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 far as um, the entirety of the day, right? Coming to thirty, I mean, things things are going going to change, and uh, the the first move is again ninety percent of the time I found the wrong one, uh, but it does fake a lot of people out. It, you know, when it does ultimately. Uh, happen now if you take a look at the option activity here today at amc stock you have seen one order totaling one hundred thirty three thousand dollars with a positive order value of 100 percent um so not a lot of option activity from hedge funds and institutions today but the option activity you have seen has been bullish uh, really, really good option activity from retail investors. 81.85% of volume is to the call side. 18.15% of volume is 
to the put side so uh definitely looking good there from retail investors now if you take a look at amc here on stock twits and uh what's going on on the day today let's see so sentiment is extremely bullish at 93 that is great news message volume is 47 that is considered normal and the participation ratio is also considered normal on the day today so uh, nothing too crazy, but definitely some bullish sentiment out there from retail investors. All things considered, I mean, it looks like a good time to be bullish on AMC, especially if what I think is true and we do get the signaling, a strong signaling that QT is probably going to end coming March 20th. And there's a lot of reasons, a lot of things that point in that direction. And ultimately that could mean a pretty good day for uh bond yields falling coming tomorrow. Now, here on the day today, you are seeing the short interest continuing to climb in AMC. This is the number in which, you know, people are going to look at, right? Um, if they are going to make a trade in AMC, you do have short interest percentage of free flow, 11.02%, $113.49 million worth of short positions. Currently, days to cover 1.48. 27.61 million shares currently sold short. Shares out on loan, 27.27 million. Cost to borrow, 1.09%. Utilization of 41.83%. And a short score of 60.88 out of 100. So you've seen the short interest climb from 7% to 11% in the last month or so. And that is definitely going to be good for any, you know, upside, ra upside rally that we want to see. Any kind of short squeeze activity that we could see now if you take a look here at the stock o tracker data about 6300 calls currently in the money 68,000 calls out the money 16,000 puts in the money and 22,000 puts that are also out of the money so a decent amount of option activity as well here if you do have a bullish you know next couple of days you could definitely see um, you know, AMC stock really start to outperform. Now, today and after hours, you're going to have Qualcomm, Corteva, Align, Wolfspeed, Aflac, Century, Next Tracker, MetLife, Meritage Homes, a um, couple other companies as well that are not listed here. But the big action is going to be tomorrow as far as earnings. Altrail, Royal Caribbean, Peloton, Enterprise Products Partners, Merck, Sirius XM, Cardinal Health, Honeywell, Tractor Supply Co., and Stanley Black and Decker Thursday pre-market uh thursday after hours apple amazon meta and a bunch of other companies sketchers decker brands or or orchid island and microchip and then friday it's going to be pharmaceutical names um like abby bristol myers cigna regeneron as well as uh, chevron and exxon so a decent amount of uh, a decent amount of um earnings still to come for the rest of this week but today my friends, is all about Powell. You also want to watch Qualcomm because Qualcomm does a lot of business with Apple. So if Qualcomm has good earnings or bad earnings, that's going to directly affect Apple as well. So uh, that's pretty much what you need to know as of right now. Again, 10-year Treasury yields are down about 9.5 basis points today. That could get a lot more extreme following uh, Powell and uh, you know what what he does ultimately say. There, there is a chance that I'm wrong. There is a chance that nothing is announced about QT. There is a chance that uh, you know Powell just kind of says hey it's up to the data but i have a feeling based on what we have seen recently that's probably not the case this time around but again let me know what you think down below in the comment section uh that's gonna do it for this video though again no specific news on amc amc is just outperforming up about two percent today at one point you were up a lot more than that hitting a high of four dollars 32 cents per share after pretty much sitting at a uh new all-time low in the beginning of trading today, hitting a low of $4.02 per share. You're currently at $4.18 per share. So you have seen quite a rally, but I expect this is going to change quite a bit by the end of the day today. So let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section. What is your opinion for Powell coming today and over the next couple of days? Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.